The loud sounds of a cathedral door being flung open makes my stepmother's shadow disappear, and my fingers come to a stop. This is the house of a god. It's rude to be so loud. Hooper Classman who's come rushing in, flinches. Kimikado's unusually sharp at admonishment, as though she's been struck by lightning. Like an emissary carrying important message, she rushes it to Kamikado's side and whispers something in her ear. This is somehow. Wonder what's going on. Rika whispers that, apparently having the same bad feeling as I am about this. Cathedral, draped in red sunlight. Like a classroom yesterday. It's completely silent as we watch Kamikado Senpai whispering. It's like a scene from a fresco painting, I think. But it's abruptly dissolved as they finish up and wake up a class when she whispers leaves. The scene changes to a portrait of Kamikado, thinking to herself. With a hand on her chin. Um, what was that about? When Rika, unable to stand for silence, speaks. The ice breaks and I feel as if the whole room was moved aside. We, we should hurry. No. no. Miss Kamikado? Suo-san. Suo-san. Yes? I answer automatically hearing my name. Will you come with me? He's been dead for a long time and didn't even know it. The sight of a nurse's office is ghastly. My god, who is it? To make matters worse, the white of a nurse's office burns red in the sunset. A patient would go lying in a bed with colour of blood. No. What I thought was blood only looks like blood because of shoes, which were removed when she put in a bed, appeared to be covered in blood. That's why I imagine a worst case scenario. Ricardo heard only heard a story beforehand must be thinking the same thing. No, her face is paler than mine as she looks at her figure laying in bed, head wrapped in bandages. Kamikado murmurs her name and steps towards her. The fact she's brought just me here, not Rika, tells me it's not Yuri. As we draw nearer, I realise the red on her boots and stain on the floor is not blood, but red clay. I can tell when Kamikado steps on it. I... Yuzuriha. Yuzuriha. I hear a whisper in a shaky voice as though it's about to carry out at a moment. Will oh, she be alright? She whispers, bringing back in Yachiro's condition. I assure her that there's no need to worry. She needs her head. It looks dramatic, but that's... That's all. Is Yachiro Senpai we're talking about? She'll be back as if nothing happened in no time. We can nod. A tense expression hasn't changed despite my joking words. But a head injury. Did she fall? Uh, she could have been climbing up to get something from a high place, but... Yachiro is so agile, for her to make such a mistake it's hard to imagine. So why? That's why I'm assailing, assailed by this pressing feeling of doubt. But to take her off to get treated in town rather than at school, it must be bad. Like I said, it's a head injury, so I have to take it seriously. But she'll be fine. Right, I hope so. Contrary to my comforting words, I feel a sense of apprehension. It must have been an accident, but... I gaze at a scarlet campus and repress a burning apprehension inside of me. Reason my apprehension soon becomes apparent. The day after Yachiro Senpai is taken to the hospital. In the classroom before morning prayers. The class seems agitated and distracted. Suo-chan, suo it's awful. What is it? Everyone's acting strangely. I want your teachers and took Miyori away. Took? In my mind's eye, I see Miyori's pained face from last night. When we told her about Yatsura's injury. Don't tell me. Yatsura's serious injury from yesterday instantly comes to mind. No, he can't be. Before 
Although his thought comes to me like a bad joke, I shake it off. Even if it is a joke, it's not like what well, I can laugh at. Do you remember Yori-san might have something to do with the Yatsuyori Senpai's accident? So you know about it. The way she says it puts it me at loss for words. The accident. Her actually may not have been an accident. No way. The words you said after we found a fallen in front of the entrance implied it was an accident. Not an accident. Am I always a suspect? Ringo squeezed my hand tightly for some reason. She's speaking very quickly about something. I stare vacantly in her face. Her voice sounds like music being played far away and I feel a fog of sweep over me. We're here to report, we're twins say in unison. Report, yes. Report to help save her. To clear us up with some misunderstanding. This morning. The reason why teachers came to take Miyuri away turned out to be as a twin's a guest. She'd been suspected as Yuzuriha Yachiro's assailant. Because of witnesses who saw the teachers take Miyuri away when her mouths. The entire school knew about it before class had even finished. The victim of many fans of people turning against her, but... Maybe because the students are rational and don't like to speculate? No one is rude enough to ask about it directly. However... Suo-chan! Suo-chan? Are you okay? You look pale. I'm sorry. I'm fine. I guess it's wrong of me to send you guys to get out, to, out to get information. It's fine. We were once said people would have been suspicious if you were to what ask you. Since you're Miyori San's amateur partner. Right, right. I said waiting was the hardest part. Oh, is that why you're not feeling well? I tell her two are generally worried about me, but I'm fine and thank them. She goes smiles brightly and says no problem, then scratches the tip of her nose. We were worried because it seemed like you weren't getting along with Yuri lately. We are actually kind of happy that you came to us to help you clear our name. Suo-chan, Miyori-san, Ri-chan. You've got to get along, all three of you. You're right. You really are. One floods my chest up with knowledge that they're being watching us. How's Ri-chan doing? She was worried about Miyori-san, of course, but she was chosen for all of Virgin Mary, right? She's been busy negotiating with Choir and the Council of Nikaya. Oh, right. She was just acting distant because you guys started a relationship. The friendship between the three of you hasn't changed, has it? With a question trips you slightly, I nod. But Rika-san's doing almost me, always san She went out of her way to prevent the rumours from developing into bullying, without me having even having to ask. She's pleasantly surprised with how she talks to students and asks them to look out for Miyori. She knows her three of us are amateur partners, after all. Hey boss, would you hear what we've been catching wind of? Why are you talking like a pirate? She says that as though she's been talking like a detective, to which Wingo and I shake our heads. Huh. Well, where should I start? I know we're trying to clue a name, but oh, we got a rumours. I think Sir chan knows the basics already. Yes. I don't have a general outline of what happened, but I want to hear the details. First of all, can you tell why my Ori son is a suspect? At this question, Ichigo taps her temper and begins with, well, here's how it all started. The reason you always suspect is because of the words Yatsuo Senpai has heard saying. Do you have a class where you found at the entrance to the academy? Before she passed out, the last words we were in were Sakura. Don't say the last word, she isn't dead. Oh, I thought that meant words you to say who the culprit is. Well, whatever. 
Anyway, let's see senpai passed out after uttering the ambiguous words. When she carried to a nurse's office for treatment, I said people started suspecting it was no accident. Up to this point, it was not much different from a rumour spreading around campus. It's even actually a senpai saying Sakura. The reason I don't think it was an accident is that a wound on her head shows that she was hit from the side by some kind of square object. Here straight from the nurse, so it must be true. I'm not close to a nurse, so I wouldn't have been able to get out of her. You're a sickly Ringo here to think of that. She sounds Ringo is bursting with pride, but this is very useful information. He had her head from the side. It was from the front or back? She was on the back of her head, towards the centre. I see. I nod. That's true, and it's highly unlikely that Shiro would have seen her assailant. That's when it came to be seen as an incident. After Shiro was taken to the hospital in town, she unconscious. The word of a classmate the family had heard, Sakura became a starting point in search for a culprit. I guess it was, in, I guess it was in, 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 inevitable. The teachers called all students with the word Sakura to her name and interrogated them. How many students were there? There's no one that name in our class, but there were some amongst the upperclassmen. There was one second year and two third years. A total of three. Second year students named Sakura Ryo san. And a third year student names are Sakura Kota Kahashi san and Ryo Sakuragi senpai. I read a notebook and write down the names. The nurse was able to determine the time of injury based on where the blood dried. Oh, CSI school. It was after class between five and six. At that time, we all have alibis. We want to use that word. Anyway, we all have had alibis for a time. Actually, the senpai was attacked. Sakura Yosan was working in the astronomy club project, which had a fellow from the university attested to. Similarly, Sakura Ko Takahashi san was helping with a class project. As a real Sakuragi senpai, our cooking dog friend, Toshi was in a dorm room at the time. It was impossible any of them could have attacked Yatsuro if Sakura had nothing to do with his silence name. So since Sakura didn't mean a name, the teacher had to think of what she was referring to. The next thing they came up with was place. Now this is where it gets bad for Miyori. It's hard not to link the word Sakura with the place that the academy has such a beautiful row of cherry trees. <coughs> the place where I first met Miyori. Miyori san just uh, happened to be cleaning up around the cherry tree that day. This is when we asked her about it, so she, so she became a suspect. In short, but, but I think that when Yatsuro senpai said Sakura, she was trying to say she was attacked under the cherry trees. Maybe roundabout, but that's where it leads. It was not my name, it's likely the place. However, this wouldn't be the case if my amateur partners weren't fighting. The reason my Yuri-san is under suspicion is that no one can arrest her to her alibi. No one passed by while she was cleaning the path. No. Sometime after five o'clock. The exact time is unclear, but Sister Dahlia passed by and saw her. It's just a moment, so it isn't proof. Anyway, I saw you managed to go after class. Can you figure out anything from that? How are you being caused by something square hitting from the back of her head? It's news to me. I have three other classmen with stacking their names. Also, a sister basket saw Miyori san sometime between five and six. 
After laying it all out, I feel like there's a clue mess somewhere. Huh? Where? I don't know. Ichigo puts her hands behind her head and teasingly asks her to sister, what the heck? Well, I think hard about a way to clear me or your suspicion. Find out she was assailant. No. The goal is to clear Mayori's name. We don't need to find the suspect. We just need evidence that it could not have been Mayori. Maybe we can do something from this perspective. Did you go off as an opinion on what would be the easiest option? Hey, best of you, Yatsuro Senpai just wakes up and tells us so and so is a culprit. You have a point, but. With a head injury, she'll be in the hospital for a while. I mean, it won't be weeks, but. But right now, most students are being rational, and will not say anything hurtful to her face. If we wait too long, the winds might change. To make matters worse, she was already a symptom of scrutiny for unprecedented selection to play with Virgin Mary. The situation right now is a bed of nails. So what do we do now? I haven't got any ideas, mates. You're talking like a pirate again. For now, let's go take a look at the scene of crime, the place with cherry trees. Tell you what, let's do that next episode, shall we? Thanks for watching. Join me next time. Bye bye.